This week I did a remodel on my chicken coop. I'll put a link below about that. The feeder I had before slipped down into a custom fit hole, but now that that's all covered up, it became harder to fill the feeder. Somehow, I've got to come up with something different. Hi, I'm Paul. This is openwoodshop.com, and today we're building a chicken feeder. I've had this idea on my mind for a while, and now I'm going to give it a try. This piece of flexible drain pipe can be bent and stretched for a custom fit. I'm going to shape a block of cedar to plug the bottom in and another to cap off the top. The block is a tight fit, but I decided it couldn't hurt to put in a couple of screws to hold it in place. I use sheetrock screws, but the plastic is soft, making it easy for the screws to go right through. It's okay, but a flathead screw, maybe a truss head screw, or a washer underneath the head would be better. The top plug is tapered to make it easy to put in and take out, and a flange is glued on top to keep the rain out. The pipe holds the bins well, and cutting the feed access hole is very easy. In fact, the plastic is quite soft, and you have to be careful not to slip with your knife to avoid disaster. I decided to attach my feeder to a piece of plywood. That will make it easier to secure it to the coop. A four and a half inch hole is cut in the plywood and a quick dab of paint will protect the wood from the weather. It was easy to mount the tube with a couple pieces of plumber's tape. It didn't take long to make and now it's time to attach it to the chicken coop. A small hole is cut in the wire just enough to get the spout through. Cutting any kind of holes in my wire concerns me, but the plywood backing plate should help discourage any hungry critters who are thinking about trying to get through. I thought about several fancy and clever mounting systems, but decided to keep it simple using just a couple of screws. It'll be quick and easy to unmount if the occasion ever arises. And just like that, it's already up and ready for use. By going inside, I was able to bend the nozzle slightly downwards because bending is what this pipe does. This lowered the feed hole down just a little lower and helped the food to flow down the pipe better. Chickens are naturally curious animals and it doesn't take long for Ruby, my test engineer chicken, to run it through the paces. After some testing and a little thought, she gave it the, uh, thumbs up. The next morning I got up to rain and I was anxious to see how the feeder handled it. Although I think I'll build a little more rain guard into the feeder, it worked just fine as is. That's about all I have to say about chicken feeders. Thanks for following me around the shop and I'll see you next time.